Hello everybody, I hope you guys are remaining healthy and continue to learn. Um, this video is out of the traditional webinar format. I think it's very informative, especially considering the changing nature of the education system given the COVID pandemic. And um, a lot of us are actually, you know, students in the minority programmers and uh, we're uncertain, even though the fall semester is starting in the month, of what we should do in terms of attaining education. And this comes as major universities, including Harvard, actually officially announced that in the fall semester, they're gonna do things all online. And this, uh, here's the current list off the Business Insider of schools that are planning to remain online for the fall semester. And a lot of, the a lot of these announcements have come recently, and that's why there's a certain level of uncertainty. Um, you know, personally, I'm also a college student working in my last semester, next semester, and I haven't even gotten rent where my college campus is because of things like this. And I know a lot of people who are in the same boat. So as a result of this, a lot of people are looking to alternatives to higher education. And um, here is where Google is kind of filling the gap. So um, here's an article I saw on Forbes and also on Big Think about how Google is offering 100,000 scholarships on uh, major uh, technology um, certificates, including data analytics, project management, and UX. And this will all be administered on Coursera, which is one of the biggest um, online, massive open online courses platform made by a Stanford a computer scientist in 2012. And it already has a large, a large existing amount of courses with, I believe, millions of people um, taking this online to get this professional certification. So it's already an existing platform and Google intends to capitalize on that by providing 100,000 scholarships to through the following nonprofits. Uh, the first one is the YWCA. Um, here's the information right here. The second one is NPower. They're another training program uh, based in a bunch of countries actually. I mean in a bunch of states. And then there's the Jobs for Future program, which also has a lot of program in a lot of states. And here is here is kind of a map of that. They have a, a good map of um, the type of apprenticeship programs and the work-based programs that they have to get people integrated into the workforce, given these uh, the gap in technology skills. So I think that's uh, that's really really cool. Um, I think a lot of people should check it out. And it's a six-month course where Coursera traditionally charges a $49 monthly fee. So that's about um, what is 300 bucks um, to get this six month course that is certified by Google. Um, and at the same time, when you look at alternatives to traditional education, um, you know, we're, I'm, I'm based out of Virginia, so this is kind of a, a, good, um, a good measure against. It's already 1300 for three credit class for in-state in Virginia residents where out of state would be 4500 so it's already cheap it's already flexible and these again are in project management user interface and data analytics one of the three um well the top three most income generating um fields and they actually list this in the Forbes article that data analytics makes 66,000 a year on median income project management 93,000 and UX 75,000. Um, I couldn't find any information on exactly the scholarships. Again, it would just mention those three um, nonprofits that I uh, went to the website earlier. Um, but um, I will make sure to, uh, to follow up on how exactly to waive this $300 fee, which is relatively cheap. And at the same time, um, Google is providing uh, that economic help. Um, so, I mean, that's another great program. Again, a lot of people are uncertain about what they're about to do, and this is uh, whether it's a replacement to higher education or a supplement to gaining these skills, or even if you're a professional looking to boost your resume. I don't work for Google or nothing. I don't, I don't get any endorsement for them. I just think, again, this is an alternative to higher education that a lot of us are seeking with this uncertainty about how um, higher education will take place in the fall semester especially considering that um, you know colleges are still charging the same rate uh, for online classes as they are 
for in person. So I think again, this kind of also puts pressure on the higher education systems to kind of give a prorated online um, tuition rate because you have competitors like Google providing industry relevant skills on existing platforms that's been around for eight years. So um, again, uh, these are like this is an example of courses that are on Coursera. Like top professors are on here, top universities. Um, the Ivy Leagues quickly joined on back in 2012, and they have a bunch of reviews, online courses, a good interface. So, um, this, yeah, this is, I'm excited for this, and hopefully, uh, hopefully a lot of you will sign up and uh, take advantage of these um, scholarships that Google offering. So, again, thank you so much for listening, and have a nice day.